I got a letter from President Ora Robert. I made a copy for him today. On the 24th of January, Ora Robert turned 80 years. I sent him a greeting card. I sent him whatever I thought an old man needed. <laughs> he wrote me a letter. I had to give him a copy. He said, Benson, thank you for all your gifts. Now my ministry is about to start. Look out for me. He said, look out. He said, I have now reached the age where Moses started his ministry. Now you look out for me. Let me hear you say another spirit. Say it again. Spirit. Oh, I would have said, now that I'm 80, just in case I die, meet me when we get there by and by. Here is a man of 80 saying, look out for me. My ministry is about to take off. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He was of another spirit. He is still of another spirit. What is that spirit? The spirit that says, my God has not changed. He's alive. He's the same. Yesterday, he's the same. Today, he's the same forever. Amen. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. It's the spirit that says, I'm well while I'm sick. The Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. Yes. The Bible says, let the poor say what? Let the poor say what? Let the weak say what? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes another spirit for you to say, I'm 80, look out for me. Are you hearing me? Yeah. 1968, November. A car hit me on the street and been on top of a motorcycle. Lifted me and threw me to the other side. And I had broken bones in 10 places. They carried me to the hospital. And the doctor looked at me and said, Are you not the miracle worker, Benson? I said, Yes. He said, What are you doing here? I said, I came to see you. <laughs> he said, Do you know your bone is broken in 10 places? I said, No, his bone was not broken. He said, I'm talking of you, not he. I said, Yes, that's what I'm telling you. My Bible says his bone was not broken. He said, you are going to be in this hospital for at least four months. I said, I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> he said, how are you going to do it? You're already here. I said, that's why I'm here. You touch it, God touch it, I get up. You are not hearing me. <laughs> Ten places. They took me to the ward, put a big cast. And people were rushing to the hospital to see whether the miracle worker was really lying down. <laughs> and he wrote there, the day I will be discharged. Suddenly on the bed, in less than 30 minutes, they finished the cast with the date. I heard, you are healed. That was all I heard. I got up. He said, where are you going? I said, show me where the bathroom is. I got there. I took the hospital dress away. I put my clothes. Acts chapter 3 said, lifting, lifting, jumping, and praising God. So I said, mm, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> Read your Bible, Acts chapter 3. I call a taxi. I entered. People who came to, who heard that I was in the hospital lying down, made my bed empty. I'm telling you my life story. Another spirit. I got home, the pain was still there, but I heard you are healed. When it was five o'clock service time, I carried my Bible. I began to preach in the church. And people who heard that I was in hospital who left church to go and look for me. 
We are told I'm preaching in the church. They came back to the church to meet me preaching. They said, well, we were told you, you had broken bones in templates. I said, yes, I've been healed. Many today did not believe I had broken bones in templates. 30 years later, I'm standing. His bone was not broken. What is the truth? Did you have broken bone or not? I had. I didn't have now. Was the doctor correct that my bones were broken? Yes. Did I believe it? Yes. But what did God say? You are healed. Hallelujah. I'm not sure you are hearing me. Hallelujah. It's not a lie when you are well and you say you are well. It's not also a lie when you are sick and you say I'm healed. For by his stripes, we are healed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Caleb, my servant. This is my belief. I believe that when they got to that land, the eye of the other ten saw zigzagly. But Caleb really looked the way David looked at Goliath. He said, are you sure you are 12 feet? Because you are tall, but God is the most high. Can somebody say amen to that? <laughs> Goliath was tall, but God was taller than him. So David said, this day the Lord will put your head in my hand. I never exceeded that day when Goliath fell to his hand. <coughs> Another story. 